All right. So today we're talking about epidote. An epidote is a very green, green guy. Look at him. Yes. Light green, mossy green. Almost looks like it was out sitting outside for a while and it has some moss on it. Um, but it doesn't. That's just what it looks like. Um, I don't have any polished of this. Epidote can come polished too. And every time I try to find um, crystals to display, I can never find what I'm looking for. <laughs> I have stuff everywhere, everywhere, but I can never find them. I know I have huge, uh, I had a nice, like a big cluster filled with uh big crystals on it of epido but this is all i can muster up uh for the video so yeah, um one thing if you just look at it by looking at it it looks naturey doesn't it because that's kind of the path we're going to go down it's definitely an earth vibration uh type of crystal and epido Here's the thing, and I'm, I was, I'm excited to make this video because you look at Epidote, look at it. Does it look like much? It, Like I just said, it almost looks like you're walking outside and there's just a rock laying there and from the, you know, it has some moss growing on it and stuff and you pick it up and you wouldn't think much of it and you're just, eh, it's all right. It doesn't look like much and boop, kind of toss it back and move on with your day. It doesn't look like much, but let me tell you, this is one people definitely overlook, and they should not overlook Epidote. Epidote has a very, very good source of high vibrational energy. And a couple things that I want to get into about it is that if I have to pick a word mostly associated with it, it would be, what's the word, enhancer, an enhancer? I guess I'll go with that. I'll explain that in a minute. So, epidote is going to enhance the energy of whatever it touches. Whatever it touches. Whether that's you as, the, as a physical being, whether it's another crystal, Everything, and that's why epidote is used a lot in where you want to, let me say, crystal gridding. Um, some people put little, carry around a little pouch where instead of jewelry, they'll have a little pouch of a couple stones in there, and it'll kind of mix some different energies up. Well, epidote definitely is something that you want to have in that little kit because it will enhance everything else in there whether it's a carnelian whether it's a piece of quartz whatever it is it doesn't matter it's going to enhance its properties and it enhances it pretty good um anything it touches so an enhancer is a good word for it that's what I think mainly this does. Um, that's what I look for if I'm, do, if say if you're doing a, a crystal gridding, um, Epidote will surely be in a crystal grid if you're trying to do amplify other crystals. Um, but again, it doesn't look like much, but it's potent and it's overlooked. And the other thing, it's common. Epidote is very common. Epidote is, is inexpensive. I mean, it's it, and it's fantastic. Nobody talks about using epidote. It's very very overlooked, and I think people look for you know a crystal that looks like you know something on the infinity gauntlet and your your wall. Look at that thing, and it's like pulsing vibrations. And epidote, it 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 falls short of the looks category, but trust me, work with it. So here's um, a couple things besides it enhancing 
If you also work with spiritual beings, some people do work with guides, um, work with whatever type of elementals, uh, you could get, get crazy. This is great for that because it helps with the increase that interaction with uh, certain spiritual beings and also helps with spiritual growth. Um, the epidote, another thing, say you're stuck in patterns of depression, patterns of hopelessness, patterns of just that negative thinking pattern. And we all have either been there or know somebody that is stuck in those. This will help break that pattern. It will almost, working with this almost gives you, it's like giving you a shot of hopeful optimism where you're, you're going through your depression. You can't get out of that rut and you're just stuck in that pattern over and over and over of negativity. This will give you that shot of optimism and really help your emotional body. And it just brings your mind into a much higher vibrational state um, and a good positive one. So definitely, and a lot of people use it um, crystal healers actually use this to break up like energy blockages on, on the, in the energy body and the chakras and the, it, it's great for that too. You have those stuck that kind of goes along with getting into those stuck patterns of negative thinking patterns, hopelessness. This will go in and just bust them out. It, it clears that congestion, clears those blockages. It's just, it's fantastic. And it, it's definitely a stone that attunes with nature and the earth and, and, and all that. But it kind of brings you a good earthy vibration if you work with it. Um, especially great where if you're living in, you know, huge cities and you kind of lost that nature vibe, this definitely will help pull you back into that. Um, it, it does help from a physical standpoint. Um, where it'll help increase energy and, and that type of stuff. But the main things with Epidote is people underestimate it. They should use it, and it definitely can help get you out of that negative crap energy stuck throughout your energy body by busting them up and, and getting rid of all those negative vibrations and putting you on the right path. Um, another great one is abundance manifestation. If you like to try to manifest certain things, here's another one. Absolutely fantastic. A lot of people have, will make crystal grids. Um, and I'm going to have some videos on that kind of stuff coming up, but a lot of people have grids where it's focused on manifesting something. Epidote is a stone of abundance. It's a stone of healing. It's a stone of manifestation. And it, it gives you that optimism, that, that much needed, hey, I could do this. I could, I could, and, and, and it just kicks in and helps you feel better. It helps that just balance that flow of energy that is stuck. And if you get stuck energy, something's going to be wrong. It's either going to manifest itself as a physical ailment or a mental ailment, something if it's not all flowing right, something's wrong. Well, epidote is what you want to lean toward. I'm telling you, and it's not as quiet and and uh, what I mean by that, like uh, when you're working with crystals, it's it's all generally subtle energies. You're going to have some that have much higher vibration. Epidote, if you work with it enough, you're going to see that it has much more higher vibration than you think. If people just pass over this for some reason. Um, now, very important, and I mean very important. I'm going to say it one more time just to be annoying. Very important. Epidote is great for manifestation, and it's great to attract more of what you already have. However, if you keep 
when you use it, it is going to help bust up all that stagnant energy and all that. But if you're someone that is jealous and really there might be some other root of an issue causing these uh, negative vibrations, it is going to pull some of that, more of that in um, because it's an attractor. It's gonna. It's a definite stone of abundance. So if you're a jealous person that emanates jealousy, that might be something you need to focus on before you even work with a stone like this, because it's gonna possibly make you more jealous without even realizing it. I'm just using that one as an example, but definitely worth using, and it's great for manifestation. It's a great earth stone, and it can really help bust out those stuck, clogged, emotional patterns, uh, physical and emotional people get stuck in. So highly recommend Epidote. I was excited to make this video because I don't think a lot of people talk about Epidote. Um, I, I never hear anybody talking up Epidote, but I'm gonna. I'm talking it up right now. So... The other thing too, um, you definitely want to cleanse it. Uh, you could run it under your faucet, let it out overnight in the moonlight, um, use some sage, whatever your method of cleansing is, you definitely want to cleanse it before working with it each time. Uh, that's something important because like I said, it's an attractor. It is definitely in a, a stone of abundance in a stone of attracting, so you want to cleanse it, get rid of all that gunk stuck to it before you start using it. Um, I wish I had some other ones with bigger clusters of the epidote crystals, but I unfortunately don't. But super dark green, there's some crystals in this one, that's why I keep going back to it, but you could find one that has some big, beautiful uh, crystals and Again, don't overlook Epidote. Please give it a chance. And it's, it has beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. And that's going to do it. See you guys next time.